Radical. If it's anything good that came out from that chaos that happened backstage at AEW, it's that I'm paying more attention to AEW right now. And I thoroughly enjoyed what I saw of Dynamite. It was a great uh, Adam Page and Brian Danielson match. And there was a couple other matches I liked. Tony uh, Khan came out and basically addressed that the title was vacated. CM Punk's title and the trio's title. So they announced a tournament, basically, to culminate in two weeks. I'm rooting for Brian Danielson. Daniel Bryan, Brian Danielson, however you may know him. That's who I'm rooting for. So I'd completely really forget about Punk and all the others if, you know, they crown him the new champ. Funny thing about Punk's reign as champ, I think in culmination, he had two reigns, and they both were five days where he was active. But then, uh, I don't know, he got injured the first time, then he got injured this recent time. It was a triceps tear, by the way. I don't think I specified what it was. A triceps tear. Typical healing time, maybe four, six, eight months, something like that. He's older, so probably that's why he got a eight-month suspension. The weird thing about that was he got suspended. I don't know if the time's been revealed for Kenny Omega and the others that got suspended, but Punk's was eight months, almost exactly the amount of time it would take for him to heal from a triceps tear. So either way, you ain't seeing Punk for a while. But as of right now... He's not been fired. Maybe they're going to take this time, suspend him, you know, see if things kind of blow over and whatnot. But that is a powder keg ready to go off the minute he gets back. And, you know, Tony Khan's got to be thinking about this. Like, should I really just cut my losses? Like, Punk, you know, gives you a good bit of ratings bump. He does, you know. Or at least he did, you know, when he came back. Look, I haven't seen the numbers, but I know he gives uh, the ratings a little bit of a bump. I think Ford, though, if he comes back, all of this, by the way, I mean, you know, for the people out there saying it's a work and it's kind of weird that it happens to be just an injury and a suspension right at the same time. Hey, if this was a work, this would be the greatest work in wrestling history, like of all time, of all time. This would be the greatest work right here. You couldn't come up with anything as good as this, really, you know? Um, but, you know, let's say, let's say they will actually want to have Punk come back in about seven, eight months. It's got to be a heel. It's got to be a heel, right? Because you bring him back as a baby face, and I've seen the comment sections from a lot of people, AEW fans, long time. Well, it's not been around for a long, long time, but since the very beginning, Seems like the tides are turning against CM Punk. He still has people defending him, but uh, basically he doesn't have like a lot of friends in that locker room. And a lot of the fans of AEW just see him as, well, kind of like a, a miserable prick. And that's kind of how he is. One thing about Punk is he doesn't put on a character. Like that's pretty much who he is. He is a miserable prick. A great under my good wrestler. You know, I mean, I like his matches, but even his biggest fans will say, yeah, that fucker is a miserable prick. You know what I don't understand about Punk? Right? You go, you get to go home with uh, that, what's her name? Um, gosh, I forgot her name. You know, big time, big time wrestling star diva 10 years ago. Gosh, I hate that I forgot her name. Just gorgeous little, gorgeous, uh, gorgeous little woman, right? So you get to go home with that every night. You're a millionaire, and yet you still, you still miserable. Like, I don't get that about that uh, punk. You know, some people are like that. They just don't really appreciate what they have. They just don't. It's bugging me that I don't know her name. A lot of you all, you all know who I'm talking about, right? So if he came back, if he did he'd have to be a heel. And there would have to be maybe talks in the back room. Uh, I don't see him ever apologizing. I mean, he basically called them, like I said, dumb fucks. And I don't know how you, uh, you make good from that. I don't see on either end him or the others apologizing to each other. Another one is uh, Kingston. 
he doesn't like punk. So you got Hangman, Kingston, Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks. It's got to be five, ten, maybe fifteen people up there that just they can't stand him. So I'm wondering, like, how do you bring him back? He has his own locker room, yeah. Maybe you don't put him in programs with the others. But if you really wanted to make some money, you know what you do? This reminds me of, and I don't know if they made a lot of money from it, is when they put Matt Hardy in matches versus Edge. And to those of you, you who know, Edge actually had a relationship with Lita for a while. And, uh, yeah, that was when supposedly she was with Matt Hardy. And they actually put them in matches together. It wasn't the best matches, but I guess the idea was, Vince was like, ha, they really hate each other. I'm going to put them in a match together, you know? So you may, you may if you do this right, you have him come back at eight months. You have this slow build. Maybe you have some promos where he comes out. Maybe he's just, you know, maybe he's just kind of hanging around. Maybe he's in the crowd and they zoom into him, you know, and he seems like just disinterested and whatnot has a big promo when he comes back, talks about how he's been gone, and it's BS that he was suspended. Maybe, like, work on some real-life stuff. Maybe, like, a work shoot or whatnot. Have him drop another pipe bomb. But it's got to be perfect to where you're wondering, is it real? Is it fake? That's the biggest fun with wrestling right now. Because everyone knows everything's predetermined, and the product's not nearly as exciting as what it used to be, but what's exciting in the internet age is actually finding out what wrestlers actually hate and despise each other. So there is big money in CM Punk as a heel, or maybe just have him come out as a face and just maybe attack Kenny Omega with a chair or just like, you know, something like that, or maybe spin the face of one of the others. And then everything comes out on the dirt sheets online he wasn't supposed to spit on Kenny Omega or whatever. Yeah, so you keep that interest going. And they have a have a really great uh, roster. They have great rosters. Brian Danielson, they got Sting, they got Darby Allin. Hell yeah, I remembered his name finally. They got great wrestlers. So really, you just, uh, you just make the most of something like this that happens. You make the most is what I say. I mean, I'm not a master booker here. But that's probably what I would do. But long term, I don't know if they could actually rein him in or I don't know if there's any controlling of CM Punk. One last final thought is I wonder, we don't know the details. There's different stories. Whether or not they barged into Punk's locker room, they kicked the door down. We don't know. He did like antagonize him and say, hey, you know, come talk to me face to face. So, for all we know, maybe he brought brought it about, but maybe he has a lawsuit right there. I mean, because think about it. If the executive VPs of the company come into the locker room, they're a higher position to you. If they come into your locker room, barging the door down and antagonizing a fight, you got to look at that. They went into his personal, he has a personal locker room. So, yeah, like I said... Crazy stuff. I just wanted to have a follow-up and let you guys know that CM Punk has been suspended. Eight months. A lot of others. There's a the long list of people that got suspended. But who's still left? Like I said, we got some great wrestlers and some great wrestling still to watch on AEW Dynamite. It's pretty exciting to see who they're going to crown as the uh, new champion, too, in two weeks.